Yo guys, what is up? So about a few weeks ago, I saw this video by a YouTube channel named as Dark Tech talking about the exoskeleton combat suit built by a private company in Ghana known as Kantanka Automobiles. Now in the video, there was a few misinformation and misconception which are all untrue and false information. So my goal here today is to give you guys the actual truth behind the Kantanka suit and bust all the myths out there on the internet. I'm telling you 99.9% .9 of all, most all the information out there, they are all false information, they are all propaganda, they are not the actual truth behind the Kantanka exoskeleton suit. So my goal here today is to bust all those myths and give you guys the actual truth behind the Kantanka suit. The reason why it was built its function and its future so you guys might be wondering where the hell am i well i'm actually a Ghanaian. i live in ghana here so i know exactly what's going on in the country so sit back relax and i'm going to tell you guys all the history and what you need to know about the kantanka suit and forget about all those information out there on the internet most of them are propaganda they are not actual truth so let's dive right into it yo 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 guys hold on so before we continue with the video uh, i want you guys to know that i went through the comment section of that video i mean the duct tape video and the comment section was really funny and hilarious i'm telling you i almost laughed to death so i want us to go through some of the comments and laugh together i mean those comments are really funny and some too are you know i don't know like what, what were they thinking so let's go through some of the comments and laugh together then we'll continue with the video so these cybernetic suits are so advanced, they don't even need their own hydraulics connected to function. Of course they don't, they're Bluetooth enabled. These suits are powered by bullshit, they don't even need any energy to function. Truly a revolutionary creation. XD. Wi-Fi hydraulics. While you don't understand the advanced tactical mind of these people, the loose cable, it's a tactic to deceive the enemy XD. The dangling hoses are awesome vents. It allows XS Awesome to safely vent as needed. They put all their skill points on faith. Those exoskeletons will be extremely useful in battle. You can't aim properly if you are laughing your ass off. I understand now why Wakanda won't allow any technology transfer. Wagana forever. It's like watching a kid in a Halloween costume. Pretty good armor when you're up against bows and arrows. Yes. This is why I always say, Ghana really has developed Iron Man suits for the Mill 3. You Jew 3 have been brainwashed by YouTube into believing it's a lie. Yo guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed those comments like the way I did. I mean, they were really, really funny and very, very entertaining. So the first thing that I want you guys to understand is that those exoskeleton suits and the vehicles that you saw in the video, they are all not actually used in the Ghana Armed Forces. They are not formally used in the Ghana Armed Forces. What you saw in the video was just a concept prototype so that the government will fund those projects so that they can actually produce real weapons and vehicles that will actually be used in the Ghana military. So the ones that you saw in the video, they are absolutely not used in the Ghana Armed Forces. They were just a concept prototype. Just like when going to the US, we have the AUAC where they display weapons, military vehicles and all those type of stuff. So that was the Ghanaian version of something like the AUAC. So every year, Kantanka organizes programs such as this one, where he exhibits his inventions in that particular year. So most of his inventions are actually not commercially available. They are just concept prototypes that are waiting to get the necessary funding so that they can actually start mass producing them and start selling them to the general public. Now, another misconception that many people have is that they think that those vehicles and robots are not actually manufactured by Kantanka locally. They think that those equipment, materials and parts are actually imported from foreign countries like China and only assembled in Ghana. I want you guys to understand that those are actually false information. They are not true. Kantanka actually manufactures most of his invention. Most of the parts that Kantanka used to build his invention are actually manufactured by Kantanka himself. 
only few parts are actually imported from outside he actually manufactured i can see about 75 percent of all his inventions only few are actually imported from foreign countries like china few things like silicon transistors and those kind of stuff those are the actual things that are actually imported from china but apart from that most of the things are actually built and manufactured here locally by kantanka himself kantanka even manufactures the engines that are used in his vehicles he doesn't import them from foreign countries he actually builds and use the engines in his cars by himself so one thing i want you guys to understand is that kantanka doesn't only manufactures vehicles or exoskeleton he also manufactures household items such as tv computers laptops speakers everything that you have in your home kantanka has manufactured a similar version of it which is actually for sale to the general public but as for the military vehicles and exoskeleton those are actually not for sale to the general public yet it's just a concept prototype that he displayed to the Ghanaian government that hey government only say president look i can manufacture these weapons and military vehicles so if you give me the necessary funding i can actually mass produce these vehicles and weapons to equip your military so that they can also be as powerful as the united states russia or china the exoskeleton suit or let's say the military vehicles will also serve as a deterrent to possible nations that have plans on invading our country ghana the suit will be able to defend the country and fight them and send them back to where they came from so that was the main function of that exhibition so i want you guys to think of kantanka as a private military contractor such as lockheed martin ryan metal or general dynamics companies in the united states which actually manufactures weapons and military vehicles to the united states military so kantanka is a similar version of those companies but on a low budget he doesn't actually have those billions of dollars to actually manufacture things on a mass scale he only manufactures prototypes so if the government is actually interested then you actually must produce them to the Ghanaian government so think of kantanka as lockheed martin but on a low budget